Today, I threw a reading uh, for someone who was born on June 13th, but I'm looking at this, and it could actually be for anybody who has a certain situation in their life. I thought it was really profound that their identifying key was pointed upside down so blatantly, and it's in the past, like they're living in the past, and they're looking at their ancestors, okay? But it just, so, you know, sometimes you can't say things are black and white. You've got to have a feeling about things. You're going to have a feeling once you develop a relationship with your bones, with the keys. You're going to have a relationship with them and you're going to know what the message is. You, that's how bone reading works. Each reader is different and each one has their own keys and all these things mean a very particular thing to the reader. So in this reading, for me, this is ancestral energy. It's male. It's a patriarch who doesn't have anything good coming from them. So there were some sort of abusive, um, power-wielding jerk, and they affected especially the women in their lives. Okay? So, in fact, this, this client really feels female. So we also see a parallel here. I'm going to show you this. Here's a mirror image. Here's the, the hateful patriarch, and here's the positive matriarch. Isn't that interesting? He's got nothing. Basically, you know, people who are animalistic and abusive, they don't have anything. This is because they're so jealous and their hearts are just rotten. So you look up here into the future. This is what the outcome can be whenever this client follows the counsel that's given right here in the present. And the outcome is a positive female energy with children or a mentor, uh, being a mentor to someone, helping someone, perfect spiritual energy. This is perfect physical health, too. The best you can be, a journey, positive relationships, which which you, the, the client, actually is a, a very active member of, and both parties support each other, a beautiful heart for every living thing. I mean, just all these beautiful things right in here. So what's in this area, in this present? This shows that this is a maternal figure who was a mouthpiece, but she really didn't give very good training to this person. So she's got to look at the mother. Okay, first of all, this mother comes from this grandfather, okay? This mother is not healthy. Let this woman go. She's in her own personal hell. Just let her go. Now, you can forgive her, realizing she's still just a child. Not all of that was her fault. She just wasn't strong enough to grow past this person. Here's the thing about older people, too. Older generations, they felt as if they had to stay home with these abusive parents. They didn't. They could have left. But they didn't. They stayed there. And just like some siblings who stay at home to take care of their older abusive parents, they might look at you and say, oh, well, I'm still here. Why didn't you stay? And hold it against you. Hey, it's their road. And they have no right to tell you what to do or what's right for you. If you're going out on your own and, and making your own life for yourself, good for you. As I say all the time, the people in the past had a chance. Now it's your chance. Okay. So, you have to live your life in spite of all this emotional and physical rubbish that is in your childhood. And as you were growing up, it was so hard to get past all this trash. Grow past it. Realize that it is not your identifying mark. It is not you. It's circumstances. I want you to grow past those circumstances. There are plenty of people who have grown up with absolutely nothing, and they've made gazillionaires of themselves. I'm not saying that money is a sign of um, success, but for those people, that was because they grew up in, in terrible, abject poverty. But for others, it's finding actually functional, healthy relationships in spite of their being grown um, grown and, and raised up in a very unhealthy, emotionally uh, home. So what I want to see is all this junk just taken out. Take out all this trash. All right? All this trash. It all came from this patriarch. He is warm food now. Just let him rot. Okay? And turn around and go. You've got all this beautiful grounding. You've got some good ancestors in your past. 
Don't look at that one all the time. Look at the good stuff in your in your DNA. And look at all these beautiful things that are happening here for you in the future. If you will just look at it, okay? Let the past go and forge ahead on a positive future. This reading broke my heart. It just broke my heart because this happens so often. And yet when I see it so blatantly like this, it just cuts me to the core. So thank you so much for watching and for listening to this old woman talk. You know, I might not be the flashiest bone thrower on the on YouTube, but I really appreciate your watching and listening because I've got a lot of experience and I just want to help you to understand. So thank you so much. Have the best day ever.